Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss algorithm in C language that is here we are going to discuss what is algorithm, why we need algorithm, what is definition of algorithm, what are examples of algorithm and what are the characteristics of algorithm. So let's start. So what is algorithm? Now first of all, it is a set of rules to be followed in calculation or other problem solving operations. Now the algorithms are used to solve a problem. That is, we are going to apply some rules or some instructions to calculate something or to solve a problem. So that is nothing but the algorithm. So it follows the set of rules or set of instructions. Now the algorithm is a procedure for solving mathematical problem in finite number of steps that frequently by recursive operation. Now we can say that algorithm is a procedure or process for solving mathematical problem. Now, the mathematical problem can be solved step by steps. That is, here, a mathematical problem requires some instructions, some rules, or some formulas, and that all formulas, instructions, we follow step by steps. And the most important thing is that it is in the finite number. That is, the steps are going to terminate, or the steps are going to end somewhere. So that is nothing but the algorithm and that the steps that frequently used recursively operation that is we can repeat the that steps or we can repeat the same formula that is we are going to follow the rules or instructions to solve some mathematical problem or some calculation purpose. So therefore algorithm refer sequence of finite steps to solve particular problem. Now why we require the algorithm? If we have some problem in problem solving we are using the algorithm. The problem can be solved by using or by writing sequence of steps but the steps are finite that is it must be terminate or it must be end at at particular instruction so we'll get the desired output or we can solve a particular problem now let's understand what are the definition what is the definition of algorithm now algorithm is nothing but step by step procedure or step by step process now we define set of instructions to be executed in certain order to get desired output now we want the desired output but we have to follow some set of instructions or set of rules here to execute in certain order that is it execute in sequential order to get desired output. This is the definition of algorithm. Now, can generally created independent language that is every independent language needs algorithm or by using algorithm we can write the, any kind of program. So before program, before writing a program, we write the algorithm. And algorithm can be implemented in more than one programming language. Now there are number of programming languages there. Now each, every programming language use the algorithm that is it follow the steps of instructions. So that's why it's create independent languages. So algorithms generally created independent languages. Now, for example, suppose the one have to cook a new recipe. Now, one reads the instructions, what are the steps, how to follow the uh, recipe steps and it executes the sequentially, that is one by one and it gives the sequence, then the desired output or the desired result is obtained. That is, we get a new dish cooked very perfectly. That is the output. 
So similarly in algorithm is it helps to do the tasks in the program. So before programming we write or before uh, writing a, a program or we cannot directly write a program before programming we have to write the algorithm to get a better solution. Now let's look at the characteristics of algorithm. The first characteristics it must be finiteness that is the algorithm must be terminate after finite number of steps. That is algorithm is nothing but a set of instructions. Now the instructions must be in finite that is it, the number of instruction must be end or terminate in, num, in finite number of steps. Second characteristics is it's clear and unambiguous. Now algorithm should be very clear that is very simple and very clear to understand that is all steps must be very easy and clear and it, it must be unambiguous. Now each step should be clear in all aspects and unambiguous that is it must be lead to only one meaning that is it, it cannot give the two meanings it must be a stable or one meaning only. That is nothing but the unambiguous. The third characteristics input. Now we have to provide or we have to give the input to the alg algorithm and it should be g it may be zero or that is the algorithm must be accept well defined input. Now output. The algorithm should have one or more well defined output and should not have a desired output that is the correct output and feasibility or feasible now the algorithm must be feasible that is feasible in aspect of it must be simple it's generic it's practical and each and every step steps must be a very clear and it must be understandable so it execute in available resources and it must not contain some future technology or some anything so that, that is nothing but the feasible. Now these are all the characteristics of algorithm. So algorithm is nothing but set of instructions which follow finite steps and characteristics are finiteness, clear, unambiguous, then input, output and feasible. Thank you.